In this video we are going to cover the double angle identity for sine of 2a. Up here we have a, which would be theta, your angle, and that's going to be multiplied by 2, thus the double angle. Let's take a look at some problems and get started. And here I have posted our first example, 2 sine 30 degrees multiplied by cosine 30 degrees. Now we can start here by just plugging these into your original equation here. 30 degrees would be our A, and this is a 2 sine A cosine A type formula, so we can plug that right here into sine of 2A. So that would be sine of 2 times 30 degrees, which will lead us to the sine of 60 degrees. And as you know from your unit circle, the sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2. And there's your final answer. Okay, and now our next problem is going to be a little trickier. Here we have sine 15 times cosine 15. That doesn't really look like our original formula here, but you can relate this to that. It's still in the form sine a, cosine a, only here, these are both multiplied by 2. So you can either divide your original equation by 2 and have sine a equals sine a multiplied by cosine a, or you could actually plug in the 2a with the 15 degrees and then divide that by 2 when you get to the end. So you're basically just going to have sine a being 15 degrees. So the sine of 15 degrees is half the sine of 30 degrees. So if 30 degrees is the sine of 1 half, half of that would give you one-fourth. And there's your final answer. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line.